Hey, Chiefs Kingdom, like this video or else. Got a note from the bosses today saying, hey, you got to get 300 likes on today's Chiefs video or else. I asked them, hey, what does that mean? I mean, is my job in jeopardy? I don't really know what's going on. Uh, wait, hold on. What, what's that, producer? Bre guys, I'm getting a note in my ear from the producer. Uh, uh, rebranding to a Broncos channel. Guys, they're already rebranding the Chiefs report to a Broncos channel. Look at this. They're already like the studio is going to look different. I don't want to talk about the donkeys. They're not the reigning Super Bowl champs. The Chiefs are. So get us to 300 likes on this video. That way we don't have to worry about this. We can squash this. 300 likes shouldn't be that difficult. So go ahead and give us a thumbs up. With that being said, let's jump into today's Chiefs report. All right, guys, welcome to the Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Let's get on into it. Uh, Mel Kuyper has released his draft grades for all 32 NFL teams. It was a whirlwind of an NFL draft. I released my grades already. Kuyper is giving the Chiefs a C plus. We'll compare to my grades here in just a little bit. He did like the Clyde Edwards Alaire pick, said it makes sense to get Mahomes another playmaker. I'm starting to grow on that pick as well. Look, there were bigger needs, but I understand why they added a, a running back who can catch the football he talked about Willie Gay's upside did mention his red flags as well we'll speak on that a little bit more later on but I agree with Mel on this the most I thought drafting a cornerback only in the seventh round was kind of a mistake to be frank that was clearly the biggest need for the Chiefs in my opinion heading into the draft but Overall, I did not like that from Kansas City. I do like Clyde Edwards Hilaire's fit with the Kansas City Chiefs offense. He's a good rusher, really good receiver. Andy Reid thinks he's a better version of Brian Westbrook, and I think he will fit in this offense like a glove. And Damian Williams is on the last year of his deal, so this makes sense. I've heard rumors that maybe Williams could get traded, and then Edwards Hilaire is probably your starter. I've got him penciled in as the number two back right now. Still think it'll be a heavy rotation. DeAndre Washington and Darwin Thompson should be in the mix as well. We'll see what happens with Darrell Williams, but Mel Kuyper overall is giving the Chiefs draft a C plus. Does like the Edwards Alaire pick and Willie Gay as well. What do you guys think? Is C plus too harsh? Is it too high of a grade, too low of a grade? Too high meaning like is C plus like too nice of a grade? Like should it be lower or is it too low? Should it be more in the B's or even an A grade? Go ahead and let me know. Type H for too high or type L for too low. I'll give you my thoughts in just a few moments. But first, I want to tell you guys about this deal with our partner, Fanatics. Go to this link, chatsports.com slash Chiefs5, and get this Chiefs Super Bowl t-shirt. It's on sale for less than 20 bucks right now. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs5. I'll put the link in the comments. I'll put it in the description. Let's continue to celebrate the Super Bowl champion Chiefs properly by getting this t-shirt today. All right, here's a quote from Mel Kuyper's write-up on the Chiefs draft. Made too much sense to get Patrick Mahomes, another premier playmaker. Talking about Edwards Alaire, obviously. Kansas City clearly liked Edwards Alaire over the other backs in this class. He's a perfect pick for Andy Reid's offense, which will be scary again in 2020. Also said this about the Chiefs' second and third round picks. Linebacker Willie Gay is a stellar athlete with some positional flexibility, but he had some off-field issues in college that caused him to drop. Developmental offensive tackle Lucas Nguyen had a hip injury that cut short his 2019 season, but I know there were some scouts who saw him as a potential starter in a couple of years. So those are some of Mel Kuyper's thoughts. Here's more my thoughts. I gave it a B. I like this draft. The Edwards Lair pick I thought might have been a bit of a reach, not a major need, but he's going to be a really good fit in this offense, and he will have an impact from day one. I can promise you that. Willie Gay has the potential to be the best linebacker on this Kansas City Chiefs team. It was a position of need. I like the pick. The Chiefs are in a spot where they can take a little bit of a chance in the second round because they have a really good roster. Teams that are in position to win now, they can take bigger chances like Willie Gay. Clearly, Willie Gay comes with some red flags from Mississippi State. He got suspended for cheating on a test in college, missed eight games as a part of that academic scandal that involves some other students on campus. He was ejected from the 2018 Egg Bowl a couple of years ago against Ole Miss for several personal foul penalties. And look, he had an altercation with a teammate that resulted in that particular teammate having a broken bone so he's got some character concerns he has some red flags but again I just think Kansas City is in a position where they can take a chance in round number two and I think he's got the talent to be the best linebacker on this roster at some point and now when you look at Lucas Niang the third round pick he was a top 50 60 prospect in my opinion 
is coming off a hip injury his senior year at TCU, which is probably why he slid to the third round. But look, I think he can be a swing tackle in year one or maybe even compete for a guard position. Some scouts or some chatter that he could play guard early in his career and then slide back to tackle where is more of a natural fit for him. He's big, 6'7", 330. And Eric Fisher, the Chiefs left tackle, who, let's be honest, got exposed in the Super Bowl a little bit by uh, Nick Bosa. The Chiefs can get out of his contract after 2020 for just over $3 million. So maybe Niang slides in as the left tackle in 2021, whereas he's more of a swing tackle slash guard in 2020. So what do you think of the better pick was? Round two, Willie Gay at pick number 63 overall, or Lucas Niang in round three at number 96 overall. Type W for Willie Ga Gay, type L for Lucas Niang. I think they're both good value picks. Both come with a little bit of risk, injury with Niang and uh, red flags off the field with Gay Jr., but I do think both are worthwhile selections. I think it's worthwhile if you guys subscribe to the Chiefs Report. I hope you guys do so. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. We got the latest Chiefs rumors, news, Q&A on Sunday. If we get 300 likes on this video, 300 likes equals a Q&A on Sunday. So use hashtag Chiefs to get your questions on the show. We do all kinds of other videos as well. We love the interaction here. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. All right, Mo Kuyper, we take a look at the AFC West. He gave the Chargers a B on their draft grade. I like what they did. We'll see what Justin Herbert ends up doing. Uh, I'm intrigued to watch that quarterback competition with him and Terod Taylor. He gave the Raiders a B as well. I feel like that's a little rich. Uh, they drafted a bunch of receivers. We'll see how that works out for them. C-plus for the Chiefs, obviously. And then the Denver Broncos, he gave a C-plus as well. I actually like their draft better than the uh, Raiders, to be quite honest. Here's what we did at Chat Sports, including my grade of the Chiefs of a B. Broncos, A-. minus. I love what they did. Jerry Judy, great pick. Like the K.J. Hamler pick as well. Chargers, Raiders, Chiefs, all in the B range right there. I just think Denver, I'll be honest, had the best draft overall, but I do think the Chiefs did pretty good overall. They added some instant day one contributors like Clyde Edwards E. Lair. Want to remind you guys, got to like the video or else. And plus, we got benefits also. 300 likes equals a mailbag on Sunday. So use hashtag Chiefs. Ask me whatever you want. Draft-related questions, free agency, uh, Bashad Breeland getting arrested. Whatever you want, use hashtag Chiefs to ask me your question and just give this video a big thumbs up. Just to kind of recap the Chiefs draft selections here, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire in round one, uh, number 32 overall. Willie Gay went at number 63 overall. And then Lucas Niang, number 96 overall. We focus on those three quite a bit here. Legereus Sneed, uh, the quarterback slash safety out of Louisiana Tech. I think he's got some versatility there. And then Michael Dana, the edge out of Michigan. That was very early for him. I was not a fan of that pick. Uh, that was part of the reason I had dropped them down a little bit lower. And then to carry his keys, they traded back into round one to take the corner out of Tulane. That's where I agree with Mel Kiper the most, who said – Basically, not drafting a corner until round seven was a mistake. Kansas City took two defensive backs on day three, but I wasn't particular high on either, and I'm surprised it didn't take a corner earlier in the seventh round. Agree with him on that last note. Uh, not taking a true corner until round seven is a bit bizarre, but the Chiefs might view Legereus Sneed as more of a corner. Uh, Tom Downey, our lead draft analyst at Chat Sports, thinks he has some corner versatility. I've got him plugged in as the backup nickel right now because I think he can move around that secondary. Keep in mind, too, one thorn Hill played a lot of corner in college at Virginia. It would not surprise me if he moved around a little bit more moving forward on this defense, but look, cornerback is a major need, and we'll explain uh, why a little bit more in just a second. But first, I want to ask you this question. Which Chiefs rookie will have the most impact in 2020? Go ahead and let me know. Edwards Elair is the obvious answer. He's going to get a lot of snaps early on. He's going to be used on this offense, but don't sleep on Willie Gay. I think he has a chance to be the best linebacker on this team. So the biggest needs now that were through the NFL draft, I think quarterback's number one. Uh, Bashad Breeland getting arrested makes that uh, a bit of a problem. Uh, uh, we'll dive deeper into that in just a sec. Interior offensive line, edge rusher, linebacker, wide receiver. I've moved down linebacker after the Willie Gay pick, but I'm really looking at that top one here, cornerback. I'm sure you guys saw I put up a community post. Breeland was arrested on five charges on Tuesday. Corner was already a need uh, even after bringing him back. And the report, too, is he was already expecting a four-game suspension before getting arrested for marijuana possession, before having an open container and resisting arrest. We'll see how the NFL uh, handles this, but it appears that he's going to miss at least four games, if not more, for the 2020 season. 
look, they can get by without him, but the corner position to start the year without Breland is not going to be great. Like, let's just keep that very, very clear. So I would not be surprised if Kansas City went out and signed a corner to help bolster that position. But look, Mel Kuyper, C+. I gave it a B. I thought it was a pretty good draft overall. The Chiefs entered this draft with only five draft picks, so keep that in mind as well. They ended up trading back in round seven to get Tarkarius Keys, but I'm a little higher on it than Mel Kuyper. I respect him, one of the best in the biz, but I think it's a little bit better than a C plus.